watch you guys got another video here for you if you've updated your nvidia driver on your graphics card and you're booting up your pc and you suddenly get a black screen like this one then this video is for you i'm going to show you how to resolve this issue very quickly it's a known issue to nvidia drivers the latest version that they've just released there is a fix for it and i'll show you how you can do it so basically you'll get preparing automatic repair when you've automatically full shut down the pc two times you want to go into choose an option here automatically you'll see this come up after a couple of full starts then hit troubleshoot then come down to where it says advanced options in advanced options you want to come down to startup settings click startup settings here and then you need to choose uh, enable safe mode um, and basically we want to enable safe mode with networking on this one here number five so select number five and then that will reboot the system and once we reboot the system we should end up in safe mode with networking this will give us internet access on our machine and you should be able to get some sort of display so we'll just let the uh, pc boot up here we should now see the welcome screen come up there we go and we should now log into windows now remember we are in safe mode here and we do have internet access now you want to head over to this website on uh, nvidia's website it's the nvidia uh, customer page here and basically they've put out a hot fix for this issue and you can see the date here and the version is 456.71 and basically you get a black screen when you open up games g-sync uh, there's also uh, RTX shadows and uh, reflections and you also get original sin 2 Fortnite. there's a bunch of other things you may also receive a load of other issues here so you definitely need to get this fix now I'll download it in a second but you also might need to use uh, DDU which is a driver device uninstaller if you're having issues so if you're having issues trying to get that fix to work you might want to download this program first and uninstall all of the drivers on there and then run the hotfix okay so basically download the, the ddu and uh, we can extract this onto our desktop here i'm just going to quickly copy this to our desktop so i'm going to copy both of these files and put them onto my desktop here once we've got them on there we can run these and uninstall the driver that's safe to use you may see this message pop up don't worry about that just click OK and we can move on to the next step so I'm going to click OK here and we now see options you don't need to worry about any of these for this video so click close but if you do want to change any of these you can do but be very careful what you're selecting here now we need to select the GPU and then select Nvidia because that's the one we're having trouble with now the one you need to select here is the very top one clean and restart this is highly recommended this will remove all of the driver from the computer and then you can install that hot fix so it's best to download that hot fix first and then you should be good to go from there so once you've done that you can uh, restart your system and then you can now use the hot fix now you can also try to install the hot fix straight uh, off without using ddu if you want to now I added the uh, DDU part in just in case someone has issues still after they've installed the hot fix. They shouldn't do, but if they did, they can always use the DDU to uninstall that driver first and then use the uh, hot fix. But basically try to do the hot fix straight out. And if it doesn't work, you can automatically just go ahead and try to install the hot fix. Once you've done that, you can click on the hot fix here and it will say checking for cat compatibility. And then you can go through the installation process. Once you're done, you'll need to restart your PC. It's not going to go back into a uh, safe mode. It will go straight to the desktop and hopefully your problem should be resolved. So let me just quickly let this load up to the desktop here and hopefully your black screen will be gone and you'll be back up and running and you'll be able to play all the games that you want to play without any sort of issues. And there you go. We're up to the desktop here. No problems at all. Anyway, I hope this video has been useful for you give it a thumbs up and also leave me a comment down below if you have this issue and whether this resolved your problem. Anyway, have a great day. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. Bye for now.
Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.